uh, how I wake up my dinosaur so when hungry comes. Today I will relate here how I revived my extinct dinosaur so when hungry comes back to life. Yesterday I was I was sorting through a stack of old gadgets, cell phones and point and shot cameras now considered obsolete and trash. I noticed my old Sony Handycams TRV330 and TRV308. The good old Sony Handycam supporting digital eight digital eight recordings that proved productive and worthy during its acquisition. Ownership of the cameras urged me to buy a stock of 8mm Hi8 video cassettes, mostly from manufacturers that include TDK, JVC, and Sony, to name drop a few. It proved productive. I had a lot of DV8s filled with memories of my family. The captured memories I already converted in digital format using a video converter and editing suite made by Rockshow which I have got an updated program now called Rockshow Next. I still use today in DVD video authoring in tandem with Pinnacle Studio Ultimate also by Rockshow. My kids however use Adobe Premiere Pro in their video and DVD projects. Converting video from tape to, to digital was a tedious process on that time. I have to attach the camera to the computer using an IEEE 1394 port and compatible cable. 1394 is an interface standard for a serial bus for high-speed communications and isochronous real-time data transfer. It was developed in the late 1980s and early 1990s by Apple, which called it FireWire. The 1394 interface is also known by the brands iLink by Sony and Links by Texas Instruments. I have to play the tape on the camera and watch the video on the computer screen running the converter suite. Sometimes a one hour tape contain events that are separate. I have to stop the conversion to allow creation of a new digital file. That was so stone age compared to current digital video comes now that record in digital format already using memory card. I retired the cameras one after another after they failed to be of good use. Every time I attempt to record, screens would display a message of error code 3120 or error code 3123. Despite cleaning the rotating drums, yes, they are mechanical. With countless of many attempts, the efforts were useless. So I placed it back to its original packaging with the camera bags and accessories. Fast forward yesterday, when I saw both in the boxes, I was tempted to check and play with it again, as I know they are to be disposed already. The same error messages were displayed still. I went to my workstation and searched for the online answer for the fix and what to do so the er message error would go away. A website with plenty of comments from users with the same complaint gave, gave me the correct and final solution. The article was written in 2005. Some of the comments came from people who were desperate to have their camera work again and spent a good sum of money by bringing it to a camera repair shop. But fortunate for many of the inquirers at the time, based on the website, one user posted that he made his camera work by tapping hard for a couple of times the size of the camera. The forum got positive feedback from its users confirming that the quick fix did work. So now, holding my old done working handy comes, I walked the size a few times. 
I plug the cameras one at a time to power source and turn on the button to camera record option and there you go error message was gone with the screen only showing I have to input correct date etc what a quick instant solution to wake up my dinosaur handicaps which has been sleeping for 10 years why have I not googled it before I have already tested if the camera will record and they did. Now I'm putting back to good use the cameras for some specific and special projects since it can record video using its night shot and super night shot features. A plus for filming projects even without proper lighting or no benefit of light at all. They will join with my current Canon EOS Rebel T3i a GoPro and an aging Sony Handycam HDR CX100. So this is all I can share about these cameras. They are alive. Show your support for this channel by hitting that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you will get updates each time a new video gets posted. Thanks for watching and have a great day now.